Good morning. Susan Lucas here from Real Estate Tech Tips and Training. I've been asked a number of times in the last few weeks of how to do a mail merge from Outlook, so I thought while I was doing one, I'd quickly run through the steps. What you're looking at is my Outlook screen right now. I use Microsoft Outlook 2010, so your screen may look a little bit different, but ultimately the functions um, are all the same. First thing you want to do is go ahead and highlight the um, people you want to mail merge. So I've selected four targets up here. They are highlighted. And you're going to find your mail merge button. It may be different somewhere depending on what version of Microsoft you're using. So go ahead and click your mail merge button. And you'll get a pop-up. Make sure that you have here selected only selected contacts and your existing document. This is assuming you've already created that mail merge document that you're putting these into. So we're going to use existing document and you're going to look for it where you've got it. So I've got mine stored in a folder called letters and this is a letter to expired that I use. Select it. Click OK. And now this is the mail merge letter. And then all I have to do is up here where it says finish merge and I do the edit individual documents. This gives me an opportunity to check spelling, corrections, how it merged merge all records and click OK. What it now has done is pulled in the fields that I've selected. So my name appears there, the people that I'm sending to, as well as their property address. So I'm just going to scroll down and make sure that everything's in line. There's no mistakes. Letter looks good. And I'm going to go over here to File and Print. And that's as simple as it is. So if you have any questions, give me a call.